What's up, YouTube subscribers? Welcome to Musty Yeti's Tactical HQ. Well, it's time to finally install the uh, ambidextrous safety selector that uh, Battle Arms Development sent me. You guys might have seen my unboxing video. Uh, this is their five-piece set, which gives me uh, 25 different options for uh, my lever setup. Um, I didn't leave you guys show you guys a close-up of the levers other than the piece of paper that came uh, with the packaging. So let's just go ahead and bring it closer. Um, I'm guessing this is just the standard on the uh, upper part. As you can see, it's standard length and thickness. Then they have a thinner version down here. Uh, I believe this is called just the thin lever. Then we have, let's grab this guy, uh, this one. This one is, uh, I guess, just the short and thin lever. You can see it's tinier. This one is just the short lever. And then you have... Uh, I believe what they call like a hybrid lever. Um, so I'm just going to install the standard lever lever with the um, short lever, and I will show you why here in a second. Uh, that is because um, when I use my ambidextrous safety now uh, and it's on fire, you can see how my finger hits the uh, safety, and when I bring my finger up, it hits really high. I don't get much of my actual lever so I don't need that whole thing sticking down there hitting my finger so I'm just gonna go with the uh, shorter lever now guys I just want to make it clear that I am by no means a gunsmith I'm just gonna follow their instructions that they sent me um, other than what I've installed on the rifle I know I don't need special techniques I've just uh, learned through installing these things myself so I'm gonna follow these instructions and you guys can see how well they explain everything so let's just go ahead and get started Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do obviously is safety check our weapon. So we're going to go ahead and take out the magazine and we're going to rack the slide a few times and make sure that it is clear. It is. I'm going to do visual inspection because I'm a little bit of safety Nazi here. So we're all good there. Alright. So just to make this easier, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the upper. So we're going to hit these two pins here. There's one right here as well. Do this off camera just because it's a little tough. Alright, there we go. So that is now off. What we have here is our lower. Now I've gone ahead and removed the screw at the bottom just to make this easier for myself. So when you take this thing off, guys, you want to be really careful about this uh, safety detent spring here. Now I'm going to tell you that I have personally bent one of these because I was uh, a little cocky, just ripped it apart. and. Uh, bent that thing so you want to be really careful when you take that apart you don't bend that spring so it comes out like that your grips down here and then we're gonna see if we can get that detent out there it is okay guys BAD sent us a new one there you go you can see it gonna put that up here now we're gonna need to take a, screw, a little hex screw here to get this thing off so let me go ahead and do that real quick all right, so we got this uh, Loctite broken off camera, so this thing will come loose. Uh, it wasn't easy, so be careful with that Loctite, guys. Don't put too much on there. So that came off, just like that. I'm going to put that over here so I don't get it confused with the new one. And then this is just going to slide out the other end. So now let me go ahead and put together the pieces I want for the other side, and we'll continue the build. Alright guys, we're going to go on to the next step. We're just following the instructions on the paper. Like I said, it says attach, select a lever, your choice to the left side. Um, and then it says some common knowledge, make sure the levers are facing the same direction. I don't know who would make that mistake. You never know. Alright, so we go with the standard length lever. I'm going to go ahead and just slide it through the left side. I'm going to keep it on safe. That's easiest for me. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, the shorter lever. I'm going to stick it on here. Now what I've gone ahead and done is I just take took a little bit of Loctite blue medium strength I got the little container right here um, thread lock of blue it says medium strength I'm just gonna dip the screw they sent me uh, this little guy I'm gonna go ahead and just dip it in here just on the tip just a little bit I'm not gonna put a lot I'm not too worried about it so let me go ahead and get this thing just put on here off camera <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. We've got it in there. We're just using the provided tool to tighten everything down. Make sure everything's pretty tight there. 
It looks pretty good to me. I don't need to go. They say tight is tight, right, guys? So now it's just doing everything in reverse. We're going to go ahead and take their uh, provided D10 here. We're going to put it on through this guy. I think I know it's already in there. I hope you guys can see the fuck pops. So there it is. It's in there. Go ahead and stick it that in with the screw here. Let me go ahead and get this handle on, guys. Because I don't want to bend it. All right, guys. So we got the handle on, and we were really careful not to bend that spring, like I said before. I'm going to do a little check before we um, go ahead and further make sure it's at least functioning. So looks like we're good. Now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and install that spring and the little screw up here, and then we'll continue on. All right, guys. So we went ahead and got the my grip kit back installed with the screw and the little screw up here. Now we're going to go ahead and just put everything back together and see, make sure everything works. Let's go ahead and reassemble this thing. All right, the pins are in. Now let's just do a little function test to make sure this thing uh, works okay. We're going to unwrap it. doesn't work. Quadruple check. It's clear because I'm a paranoid guy. So it's safe. Put it on fire. Works. Unwrap it again. doesn't work. Safe. doesn't okay. Alright, so it looks like Everything installed okay, as you guys can see. It definitely was not that difficult. Um, and you don't need to have any expertise or any special tools, uh, just a few. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. The hardest part about installing this thing was getting the screw on and off of the Maya Grip kit because a standard screwdriver for me won't fit in here. I had to use a, a little different tool. But very easy install. I'm going to give this thing about a week, like I said, to uh, test out and see what I think of it. And we'll get back with you guys sometime soon to let you know uh, what my final verdict is. So I uh, apologize, guys, that was kind of a, a crude installation video. I'm not an expert at these videos by any means. And it's definitely hard doing work behind a tripod. So someone's off camera, like I said. Uh, just the huge thing is to make sure you're safe, your, your weapon is clear. Uh, then just take off the screw of your grip. Or remove the grip, being really careful of that uh, safety detent spring there. Um, and then just follow the instructions on the piece of paper they provide. Uh, super easy. Like I kept telling Roger, the guy at Battle Arms Development, the hardest part about this uh, safety selector is deciding what lever to go with. There's just so many options. So uh, what you see here might not be what you see in the final review because I might find something that works better. So if you guys have any questions on how to install this thing, uh, please let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay safe, take care, and hope to see you soon.